It's Thursday and it's time for my grocery haul. Hey everybody, it's Amanda and I'm gonna share with you my grocery haul this week. I went to three different stores and um, kind of stocked up a little bit, spent a little more than I have been spending, but I have been way below budget, so I'm still great for the month. And I also, back by popular demand, have our menu plan for the week. So if you will be patient with me, <laughs> I will show you what I got and tell you how much I spent and show you what I plan to do this week. So first things first, I will show you, let me show you the receipts first and then we'll talk about the total and then we'll talk about everything else. So let's go to the receipts. Okay, so here are my receipts and I went to Ingles and I spent $39.43. This is my discount store, I spent $13.66, and this is Aldi, and I spent $25.34, and this is my total. Right here, there's a little glare, but it's $78.43 at all. Uh, three stores, so that's, that's more than I usually spend, but like I said, we got a lot of stuff, and haven't gotten much lately, so I think we're still doing good. Anyway, let me show you what I got. And right here is my purchases. Now, I do wanna say right at the beginning that these eggs did not come from any of the stores. Of course, if you haven't seen my video about getting chickens, I'll link at the top. Um, these come from my local farmer, AKA the Hollers, Holler Homestead. You wanna visit their channel, I'll link them at the top and below. Um, but anyway, so I got four dozen for the month. So that is what I have here. And that is not part of those totals because I've already paid for those, but um, and you have to watch the other video to see the details on that, but I did pick up my monthly order of eggs and I'm very happy with that. So everything else on the table is part of that total. So let's talk about Aldi first, just because it's over here on the left hand side. So over here, you'll notice that I got these two bags of chips, which I really haven't been getting chips very much lately, but these flavors intrigue me so much. I love curry, and I was like, curry flavored chips, I have to try those. And they also had this tandoori barbecue. They were $1.69 each, which wasn't too expensive. And you know, we could always, you know, we could have a snack in the house. Um, so anyway, so we grabbed those two. Um, we went ahead and got this organic romaine lettuce. The other romaine didn't look that great and the price of this was comparable to what we would spend at Ingles, so we went ahead and got it. And it was $2.79. Then I picked up these mandarins. I just kind of had a taste for those and they were $2.89. I also grabbed these Roma tomatoes. They're kind of in this bag, so I'm gonna pull one out so you can see. I grabbed three of them. Somebody says on my videos that they don't like it when I say grabbed, sorry, it's just habit, guys. Um, but there's three Roma tomatoes in there and they were on sale, I think it was like 85 cents a pound. So those three Roma tomatoes ended up being 51 cents. So it was very, very reasonable and I kind of wish I'd gotten more. But anyway, so <laughs> these um, avocados here, we also got several avocados. Aldi had their avocados on sale for 39 cents each. And I told Brianna just to grab a bunch of them and we'll use them <laughs> as they ripen, hopefully at different times. So I don't know if you can see in there, but we got four of them. I would have liked to have gotten six, but she couldn't find that, that many in that different state of ripeness. So three of them at 39, or excuse me, four of them at 39 cents each. We also got this chunky salsa and that was 95 cents over here. And I actually separated it for whatever reason. Y'all, we have been in the strawberry mood lately and these were not inexpensive, but we wanted them. What can I say? It's better than fast food, right? $3.99 for these. And let me tell you, they're organic and they smell amazing. I cannot wait till we can go pick fresh strawberries. So that is it at Aldi. Again, I spent $25.34, just $8 right here on this strawberries alone. But overall, I think we actually did really good on our spending. While we're here, I'll talk about the things that we got at my discount grocery store. So these bags of baby spinach, I got two of them. They were 50 cents each. So, you know, I think that kind of covers the price difference, right? And then uh, these bags of pretzel rods were 20 cents each. They were five for a dollar. So I just grabbed two, because I'm not trying to have too many of those snacks around the house, but it was such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up, so I grabbed two of those. Uh, Morningstar Veggie Dogs, $2. Morningstar Chicken Patties, $2. I got two packages of 
hash browns for $1.50 and it, we've actually had a hard time finding this shape of hash brown for some reason. So I was glad to pick that up. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, cauliflower, we got two, I mean, these are ginormous heads of cauliflower. I, I can't even describe it to you. But we actually got those at Aldi too, and I forgot to mention them. They were $2.39 each. Just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. So anyway, back to the discount grocery store. I got this bag of instant yeast for $2.49. It is good and in date too. I grabbed these, like, I've never had this. This is the fancy ah ahi yellowfin tuna. Chicken of the sea. This is not cat food. This is like actual tuna for my husband. Try to get that more clear for you. There we go. And so I've never seen it before, but it's, it was a dollar each package and I thought I'd get a couple just to see if he liked it because he loves tuna. So, you know, it was just something to try, but got that. And I also grabbed at the discount store, the last thing, this package of yellow cornmeal mix. I actually got it, if not the last grocery haul, the one before that, um, and we tried it and it's actually really good. I made vegan um, cornbread with it, really tasty. And it's only 50 cents a bag. And I mean, I could probably make several batches of vegan cornbread with that. So it's a really good deal. So anyway, all of that was from my discount store. Only $13.66 for all of that. I mean, that's tremendous savings on that haul right there. So then the last thing I did was go to Ingalls because there's a few other things I wanted to get. I intended to go in and get bananas because they didn't look great at Aldi. They're frankly a little yellow at Ingalls too but we grabbed them, also got some peppers, and I wanted to get some Italian sausage, but we looked around for some other deals while we were there. So the bananas ended up being $1.29. I also got this everything rice cake, which these are like my favorite snacks right now. <laughs> They're $2.68. The and they, uh, turkey sausage. I've, I've been wanting to make pasta fagiole. In fact, I changed tomorrow's menu, you'll see, so I could make pasta fagiole instead of chicken soup. But this one right here was $4.98. Grab these peppers just to have some peppers on hand. It was $2.98. I also got this um, lunch meat here and it's $6.98 a pound and it's, let's see, not quite two pounds. Ended up paying $10.89, which is still cheaper by far than what we get in the actual deli. Cause I, I did look at the deli prices, but that was still a better price. Um, and then I grabbed these turkey breakfast sausage links to have for the family just because I saw that and I thought they might like that. That was $3.88. But then over here, Gordon's um, fish was on sale, buy one, get one free. And the only thing that I am trying to find deals on right now is fish and beef. So I grabbed these since they were on a pretty good sale. I mean, buy one, get one free is pretty good. Um, so they ended up being $2.99 for the battered dipped one, this crispy battered fish filet, $2.98 each. And then this grilled tilapia was also $2.98, excuse me, 99 cents. <laughs> They're $5.98 together, $2.99 each. So anyway, so that was, that was pretty good. And I, so I just grabbed, you know, one set of two to put in my freezer and have that. So that was it. That was all I got at Ingles. Ended up being $39.43, again, $10 just on the lunch meat. Um, and then the extra on the fish and things like that. But, you know, stocking up and that's what you get. So this is my haul for the week. And let me tell you what's on our menu plan. Okay, so I changed some things on my breakfast, lunch, and snack menu. So breakfast is still eggs, turkey sausage, instead of turkey bacon. Oatmeal, breakfast biscuits, breakfast wraps, and granola. Lunch, quesadillas, tuna, burritos. I still have lots of wraps tapas, sandwiches, some basic lunch things. Snacks, y'all, we got so many snacks. Pistachios, almonds, popcorn, apples, cornbread and honey, carrot sticks, pumpkin seeds, dried fruit, strawberries, chips. There's just absolutely so much we have in the way of snacks. Nobody's going hungry here. So my menu plan, I went shopping a little early this week. So Wednesday is pasta fajol. Thursday, we're making crock pot lasagna and salad. Friday, whole chicken, mashed potato and cauliflower and kale. Saturday, salmon, rice, and broccoli. Sunday, Valentine's Day. 
making a steak for my husband, baked potato and a salad. I'm gonna have baked potato and a salad and some other kind of protein, not sure what yet. But anyway, more, normally I just substitute myself out something, so. By the way, speaking of which, I have a recipe. I'll be linking the top for the pasta fajol and vegan pasta fajol. And I also have a recipe for crock pot lasagna and I might even have a salmon recipe. I definitely have a steak video. Um, I have a curry video. So yeah, so I have a video for almost all of these. If I don't link them at the top, I will link them in the description box. So if you want to know how to make any of these, you can. So anyway, so steak, baked potato, and salad for Valentine's Day. Curry on Monday. Tuesday, fish, mashed potatoes, and mixed veg. And Wednesday, chicken and spinach Alfredo. So that is our plan for the next week, and we are all set. Whew, we have a lot of food in this house. I just, every week I go and I think, I'm not going to spend that much. And then I spend more than I think I'm going to spend. And then I think, where am I gonna put all this stuff? I don't even know. But it's okay, we're gonna work it out, and I gotta get all this cold stuff put away. So that is our menu plan and grocery haul for this week. Come back next week and see what kind of deals I can find. I, I think I found some pretty darn good deals this week. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.